grade school. That's it, you don't remember? I think we had algebra together freshman year. And I always called her HB. And I'd come into class and I'd say, HB, HB. We went and to St. Columban together and... Yeah. Uh, no, he was the same. Very handy. Seems like he was missing something all those years. Yes, ago. and then he, he found us. Might, might have finally found it. Oh, oh us. Us. <laughs> no, us. Come on, yeah. us. <laughs> um, I think when they bought the tandem bike at Bucato, or whatever that, not Bucato, whatever Sunshine, whatever that street was, whenever you guys bought the tandem bike, I knew like that sunset. was it. Because yeah, Sunset. Because I wanted it to be for Scott and I, but it wasn't allowed for Scott and I. It was for Scott and Hillary, and that's when I knew that was the icing on the cake. I'm like, all right, well. It begins to count down to the to the, the fiance part. So I think I knew that they were gonna get married like last summer when I was living with Hillary for a little bit in Chicago, and um, Scott came down to visit for a couple of days, and um, Hillary was so sad she was like crying after that, and I was like, but I'm here, I'm visiting you, and she like Doesn't didn't matter. even care. She was just like sad that Scott left, and I was like. I know, I remember when she first was like telling me about Scott and it was like this ridiculous story. But it was so cute and she was like so happy and so excited. I'm just so ex I'm just like so happy for her. Oh I knew we knew that probably pretty early. Pretty early. early. They, they were a good fit. Yeah, because um Hillary made Scott better um, and really got him interested in school and and he finished out and I really do credit Hillary for for that. So she really made him responsible, and it was kind of fun. I remember when I first met Hillary, uh, she was she and Scott were just together at their, we went and saw their apartment, and at Bernie's graduation, I saw her too, and they were just really, really nice together. I met her for the first time, and she was really kind to me, now being the little brother and all. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think it was when I started, I helped Scott move back to Lexington one year. Um, he finally introduced me to her. I think that was the first time. I'm not really sure. Are you excited? She seems like she's always been here, like in our lives. Yeah, after Scott started dating Hillary, he seemed really happy. He really did. And I think after a while, we just figured we thought, mm, this How could long be is the it going to be? Yeah. yeah. How long before that uh, it comes up? Scott is the perfect match for Hillary because they are total opposites. Hillary's the boss, and Scott just takes it. And Scott does everything he can to make her happy, and that's why I think he's going to be a perfect match for my sister. And I've never seen her happier than when like Scott is at her side. Yeah, they do well together. When uh, when they were looking at cities like live in, and they ended up like making things work by living in the same city. I was like, okay, they're pretty dedicated. That's probably good. Well, Lindy and I have been lucky enough to live in Chicago with them for the past year and a half, and we have gotten so much closer to both of them. Um, they are truly two of our best friends up in the Chicago area. And um, when Scott texted me and told me that he was accepting a job in Cincinnati, it was a little bit hard of me that was jealous, but overall so happy for them because when we eventually moved back, um, we both just know that it's going to be a full lifelong friendship. And I think Hillary told me that it's a good thing Scott likes to do dishes and and, and do the laundry, otherwise they'd be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just just do what they ask you and uh, it's probably the easiest way. Just just follow instructions if you can. I don't know. Just keeping things in perspective is always important and And time goes by really fast. Time flies by. So just try to enjoy every 
second you guys have with each other, I guess, life would be is, good advice. Life is silly and fun. Life is silly and fun. Too, it's too Go do short. silly fun things. It's too short to not just be Enjoy happy. it. And do fun stuff, which you guys do. Because you have each other. Just stay young and keep doing what they're doing. It seems like they're having a lot of fun right now and just keep at it. I would just say there's going to be good days, there's going to be bad days. Just yeah, hang would. together and just stick together and just work it out. And I would have to say that slow to speak, slow to hang, quick to listen. My wish is that their wine cabinet is always full. But on a serious note, I wish them many years of continued friendship that they have and love and always all the best. You know I love you guys more than anything in the world. Good communication, I think they have that. They are friends, so good communication leads to friendship and great friends develop trust and they have that and they are, it shows that they are deeply in love with each other. I, I don't. Um, I think you guys are a great couple. You're going to figure out your own way of what works for you guys, what doesn't work for you. Um, I'm a huge baby, so Kara has to take care of me. And uh, Scott's kind of a baby, too, so you know, Hillary's going to take care of me as well. But, um, you know, the happy wife, happy life kind of oddage. You know, only being eight or nine months in, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to make Kara happy. But, and I know Scott's going to do the same for Hillary. Just do whatever she says. <laughs> yeah, just, the whole thing, the whole yeah. dancing. Definitely want to hit the dance floor. I'm nice. hoping I don't cry. I think yeah. I might tear up a little bit. That's why we got the little package. That's why yeah. the, the whatever they're called. It's nice to have all of us together. A lot of us have been spread across the country since we yeah. grew up. This is so one of nice the to few have. chances we get so to group back together. Definitely. Most part. Scott and Hillary, I can't think of two people more perfect for each other. Um, to say that both of you are some of my best friends in the world is an understatement. Thank you so much for including me in this day. It's been nothing but non-stop fun. It makes me tear up because it makes me happy. I've known Hillary for so long. And then to see her find someone that she loves so much. And we both love Scott a lot. Yeah. And seeing them together makes us so happy. Dream the dreams that you want to dream for the next 85 years and your life will be perfect. And I love you. We are just beyond blessed to have you guys as friends and we can't wait to get to spend more time together now that you guys are closer and uh, I know we're going to be friends for life and I'm really excited about it. You know, finally a sister-in-law for me and you and Scott are absolutely perfect together. Whenever I see you two together, you're perfect and I always laugh and I'm so glad he's found someone like you. Welcome to the family. I wish you guys happiness and love and I hope you guys have a great match. I love you guys. Just love you guys and wishing you lots of blessings and happiness forever. Love you, Hilsey and Scott. Welcome to the family. Yep. <laughs> it's weird. I guess, I don't know, it's kind of exciting. It's surreal. I feel like it's not happening. But, but... she got her makeup done, so it is happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like that one. Let's do another okay. one. Okay. Um, talk about Hillary in high school. Or in school, in general. Um, can I just say, um, hold on, let me just think for a second. Don't, are you taking I'll this? I'll... Tell me about when you first knew Scott was going to marry Nick. Or, Scott was going to marry Nick. You did, well, not, you did not just say that. Was that recorded? No. We will give you an answer. I can. I, I can. Oh my god.
<laughs> we knew that Nick was jealous of Scott. Was that like well, I was there when Scott and, when Scott engaged to Hillary in my kitchen, and I think we had pizza that evening. Great communication. They have friendship. Speaking of communication, They're obviously very good <laughs> friends. And this is Scott. Hi, hey, Scott. You guys are hey. In the front. Okay, How are you? Coming. We'll be there in one minute. Tell them one minute. Okay, we do. We'll be out. Give one us minute. two minutes. Thanks, Scott. What was Scott like in third grade? The same. Yeah. Well, it was Happy. a special ed program, yeah. so yeah. I think so that, <laughs> that probably, you probably predict. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I feel fantastic. How do you feel about this uh, processional? A little frustrating, but we're doing good. How do you feel about Dish and Hillary and walking with me? A little frustrating, but feeling good. I'm really excited. How was your first night married? Ew. That's really dirty. That's been in like a stripper's underwear. Scott told us at Halloween when we were Spice Girls. It was kind of a bad time to so tell fun. us because we were drunk and I was really scared I was going to tell you. I was freaking out at the bar. I was like, yeah! Finally! <laughs> he brings some sweet into the sass. They can open up a restaurant, call it Sweet and Sassy. Hillary and Scott, Lafine, not laughing. A lot of people thought it was laughing, <laughs> but it's Lafine. Um, what else do you want to talk about? The cats. We lived with Yoshi. That was really fun. He was my favorite. He slept with me a lot. We napped together on Bucato Court by the window. I'm just excited that Hillary gets to have like a, I don't know, awesome day, I guess. Drinking. Drinking. I'm mostly excited about the reception. Dancing. <laughs> I love to dance. Dancing. Yeah. Dancing. We have fun friends around us. Yeah.